Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. So we have another guest in the building and his name is Fumbo Olu Mayowa, also known as Fo. He hails from River States and Fo started dancing in his teenage years. He dipped into music during his university days, halted music and started his PR company. Fast forward to this present moment, Fo is actually gradually caving himself a proper niche in the entertainment industry doing skits on social media. He's heavily influenced by reality and social issues being challenged by the average Nigerian. Welcome, Fo. Hi. Hi. Am I supposed to do the drum rolls too? <laughs> no, no, you get the drum rolls. Uh, <laughs> How's it going? Good. So t this this whole episode has been about the entertainment industry okay. and the, the infrastructure with it and stuff. And it's nice that we have some type of twist away from music to True. go into influencing. I personally mm. think we the influ influencers are probably one of the most undermined people. Mm -hmm. um, maybe because we don't we don't have that you know scabosh vibe you know with mm -hmm. it and stuff. But from your experience experience, because I want to speak for you, how has that been like in just really living through that industry? Uh, awesome. I actually started last year. Yeah. So November will make it a year, mm. nice. right? And well, it's it's been a blast. I won't lie. That's like the if you have good content, though, you know, mm. that's like the easiest way to sell nice. at the moment because mm. oh. you know we have all the social platforms that are out there. Mm. So I don't need to knock on your door or maybe force you to listen to my music if yeah. I was doing music because yeah, I yeah. did that for a long time. I know. What I bought, yeah. man, it was not easy, mm. honestly. Mm. Yeah, but with this, you know, everybody wants something new. So you just have to look for something that you could delve in and just create a niche for yourself. And, uh, when and you good. say it's been great, do you mean this also on a lucrative basis or do you mean that you've gotten a lot of exposure? Because it don't always mean the same thing. You okay, know, so always, both yeah. ways. Okay. Exposure-wise, fine. I'm still growing. I yeah. can't tell you, oh, I've hit like a gazillion million followers yeah. now. Um, I'm still growing, but apparently my content gets to be shared even outside my Instagram platform. You know, right. I get to see it a lot and I get calls, phone mm. calls. Like, you know, when you start getting feedback from what you've done days Previously, ago, yeah, yeah, you know, months ago, it just yeah. shows, oh, you're doing device thing and you're yeah, on device. So yeah, you understand? So yeah. it just gives me this joy. And as concerned being nucleative, you haven't gotten so much brands coming to say, oh, help me do this. But the little I've gotten, yes. It's it has been. Yeah, it oh, is. Right. So um, in your space, originality is yeah. key. It is know? key. And then you see a lot of people that have similar content. Like, True. to be honest, I've seen some of your content are similar to another. Like, yeah. is, what, what is happening there? Is it that you guys have, like, the WhatsApp group where you just share your ideas mm, together nah. or people just take your ideas? Nah, yeah, you no, know? we don't. You know, like, I, like you've read in my profile, mine is based on the reality. I don't want just... Rather, I didn't just want to go on Instagram and start talking about everything. I, most of the guys you see these days, they just want to show off girls, booty, talk about whatnot, how a guy, you know, and that's what you get. It's, it's mm. random, mm. you know. I look at what, the, what is facing the average man. Like the last one I did, the most previous ones mm. I, I just did. About uh, actors. About actors and actresses. Mm. I really like that. Because that is what is actually going on. Even when yeah. I did the goat skit that made me blow. Shout out to my goats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, you know, so this is just me trying to look at your end or your perspective and trying to, trying to face it, like trying to place it out in mm. the most hilarious or yeah. comic way as mm. possible. But if you really sit down to think about it again, I'm actually passing a message. Yeah. Mm. So I don't see any reason why you want to come on my space or mm. you're trying to like gain followership or trying to be on. Let me, let me, let me put it this way. So most people don't really understand what influencing is. Okay. You're big. Educators. People mm -hmm. look at you on like on different levels, you know. Mm -hmm. You want to be an influencer or you want to be doing skits and you're just all about preaching how you're trying to get ladies down, mm -hmm. how, you know, the next thing, because all of a sudden you're, you're, you're looking at someone's kid, then the next thing you're showing a lady's butt, then like, mm -hmm. it's tiring. Yeah. I sense, I sense it some is tension there. Yeah. Are you talking to somebody in particular? There are people that are Oh, like, no, 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 no. You know. I'm not talking to people. I'm not particularly placing a finger on someone, but it's just there's the particular set that do this kind of videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's... I don't know how people think, but... So how do I you copyright your content? How do you keep your stuff to yourself? Are there, have you ever had um, an issue of someone stealing your or jacking your content before? Ah, jackers <laughs> are online. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of them. Even big okay. names. Okay, now, let me just say this. No disrespect to anybody, mm. yeah? But there are times I put out content. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's for public consumption. 
I'm putting it out there for people to see it. Mm. It's not for myself alone, mm. you know. So shout out to those that follow me. Shout out to those that have supported me mm. big time, like the Two Dead Nuts, mm. the Don Jazzies. For mm. every time they put up my skit, mm. they're always tagging. Mm. Then I'm not trying to rub this off for anybody, but there was a time a big brand. Let me mm. just say, okay, there was a time Linda KG posted one of my skits, mm. right? Now. They had to crop it to the point where my handle was off. Mm. And she just put it out there without even tagging me. Mm. I'm sorry, you're a big fish. I know you're big. Mm. And for you even putting my, you finding my content mm. interesting enough to be on your platform. Mm. It's, it's a, a big, big deal. deal. Mm. And I really, really appreciate it. But what I'm saying is, at least, Tag. just a little bit of acknowledgement. Mm. It won't change anything. It won't stop brand from coming at you to do so much more. It won't even, the only thing I'm going to get is just a couple of you followers mm. that might even unfollow me the next day. Mm. You know, but I mean, that acknowledgement, that, that tagging alone, just, it gives me that, that shit feeling. It shows me that, okay, guy, you're actually doing something good. Yeah. You know, like, I think that's the challenge with the industry and social media. Um, we've, we've seen the government trying, well, I don't know if that was their intention, but I think they were trying to make that into a more structured industry where you can own your stuff and you can start to really claim things and sue people for not doing copyright. There isn't really that much place in the industry yeah. right now. Um, but if from, from your perspective, how would you, like, if, I, if they gave you the opportunity, the resources and the platform, the power mm -hmm. to be able to put some kind of structure that's in there, what, what would that look like? What would you want to use protect yourself as an influencer okay since people don't want to hear <laughs> or people don't like hearing word because i don't see any reason why you can't just put my handle yeah. oh great job for at holistic yeah. that's that's all it takes yeah. Yeah. do you understand that's it it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't change anything it's as simple as that just mm. tag someone yeah since they don't want to do that uh no we have entertainment lawyers mm. that do xyz abc as yeah. concern this copyright and the like and people don't really get it because content is key mm. Intellectual property is key, mm -hmm. you know. So this is this people people might end up paying so much money if you sue them for doing this. It won't be a bad idea if we ha start having maybe if we start having these people like mm -hmm. in my field reaching out to more lawyers mm -hmm. or lawyers reaching out to us saying, okay, we could Protecting do yourself. yeah, we could do this, we could do that. To copyrights in Nigeria is expensive, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know if you haven't gotten to the level where you have like I said earlier, if you have brands. Coming on to you saying, okay, we want this, we want you to help us do this, and you started making so much money from it, you won't be able to copyright as yeah. much content as you as you ought to. Because trust me, we need to meet up, and yeah. every week you need to put out great stuff. Yeah. Every week you need to do something. So you imagine me copywriting all the hundred posts on my page. That's a lot of money. So I mean, because of that, would you say that it would get to a point where um, influencers would start to have teams and labels even? So like the way a label would get an artist and basically... No, I think labels are already started signing influencers. Mm -hmm. But yeah. they don't just put it out there and say, okay, this is my, mm. you know, this is my influencer. Mm. Or let me say my artist. No. Mm. But they have some labels that, that do that. But yeah, we are getting to... We are, we are slowly growing to the level where definitely it is going to, you know, shield mm. something like... Yeah. Bring back something like that. One last question before I, so I let you go. Mm. Do you ever worry about running out of ideas? I do. Mm. That's my biggest challenge. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there are times I stay. Cause, so my target is to meet up once in a week, once in a week, you know, just give people something. Because mm. these guys are, they're following you and they're waiting, they're looking up to you. What I like to know, they want to hear something. Mm. There are some people that you inspire by, they just want to see you say something. Mm. That's like the biggest smile they're going to get, you know. Right. So sometimes we don't have it coming, especially in a country like Nigeria. You have to meet up, you have to pay rent, you have to do this. Yeah, there's so a I, know, whole I, know, I wish I know we had more time. time. I'm so, yeah. so, so, so sorry. Um, really quickly tell the, the viewers your social media handle so they mm. can go support. Folistic at Folistic, F O L I S T I Q. That's it. All righty, guys, please do support. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, that is all that we could take today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Thank you so much for joining. And you can join this conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big, big, big thank you will go out to my co-anchor Ifeolua Oshuke and Miles yes, who had to step down for social distancing, to my guests Ade Tutu, Fo and Kezi, and to the entire production team. Thank you so much for watching. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Ife Omai.